Hello again, um, I'm James Champion. This is uh, part five of my journey to India in 2006. Um, following on from the visit to the Garhwal Rifles, uh, the next thing was to uh, go to the Corbett National Park, or the Corbett Tiger Reserve. Um, now there, in this park, um, they organise uh, courses for wildlife management students, and the prize for the best uh, student is the Champions Trophy. Now we were actually, uh, luckily, in the area at the time when this prize was due to be uh, presented, so we were invited to present it ourselves. And here you can see a picture of my father with the Champions Trophy just in front of him. It is, of course, uh, a bronze uh, uh, tiger. And uh, there was a, a large presentation with a number of uh, people and a lot of press photographers and so on. And uh, it was a great honour for my father to be able to present the trophy to the uh, best student of that year. And here you can see him presenting uh, the certificate to the, uh, to the best student uh, there. Now here you can see a picture of my grandmother standing, uh, holding a Marcia fish. And um, in the background, you can see the river that uh, she and my grandmother most enjoyed uh, fishing in, the Ramganga River. Um, this picture was actually taken in the dry season, so there isn't a great deal of water in the river in this uh, particular picture. But the place where they did most of their fishing in the Ramganga is an area where the river spreads out a bit, and uh, it's still to this day known as Champion's Pool. And here in the next picture you can see three rather eccentric looking champions standing in front of Champion's Pool. Um, from there we went to, the Ni to, we went to Nainital, which is another um, hill station in the Himalayas, rather like Mussoorie, which you will have seen in, uh, in the previous uh, section. And um, in Nainital there is a lake, and uh, my grandfather was a member of uh, a yacht club uh, on the shores of this lake called the Nainital Yacht Club. Now, when we were there, of course, we were very interested to find out uh, whether the Nainital Yacht Club still exists, and of course, it does. And when we went into the bar, we were very surprised and very touched to find a shield uh, of my grandfather saying, FW Champion Rear Commodore 1946-47. to There is an exactly the same... Uh, uh, there is exactly the same shield in my uh, parents' house, which uh, was also where my grandparents lived uh, after they returned from India. So we were very touched to uh, see that uh, looking down uh, uh, from the wall while we were sitting in the bar. Now here in the next picture, you can see a picture, I see a photograph from uh, about 1940 of one of the boats that my grandfather used to sail in the uh, Nainital Yacht Club. This was number seven and uh, the name of the boat number seven was Stella. And back in my parents' house in Scotland there are a number of uh, cups and trophies and things uh, with uh, the name Stella on them, so I was very familiar with this. And this next picture actually shows an ashtray in my parents' house in Scotland um, with Stella at the top and you can see down on the, uh, on the side it says NTYC, the Nainital Yacht Club and uh, 1944. So I was very familiar with the name Stella as uh, uh, the boat that my grandparents uh, loved particularly. And when I looked out of the window from the bar in the uh, yacht club, I was very surprised to see Stella. Stella still existing. And uh, these boats, I believe, were made in uh, Maidenhead on the River Thames uh, in 1911 and shipped out to India. And they're still being used today and still being lovingly maintained. So that was, of course, uh, wonderful to see. And here in the next picture, we can see the lake of Nainital, and the yacht club is up at the far end uh, where all those houses are. Now, my grandfather had a house called Snow View, which was right up uh, on the hills uh, uh, on the top right-hand side of this picture. We were unable to find the exact house that he'd uh, stayed in, but we did find um, a very uh, similar kind of house. This is actually in Almora, Many of the houses uh, that my grandparents uh, stayed in would have looked very similar to this. Uh, this one is uh, run as a, as a hotel. And uh, we stayed here and uh, had the most wonderful views of the Himalayas. If we actually look at the next picture, this is a picture taken by my grandfather from uh, almost exactly the same location. And you can see people looking across. Uh, these uh, three uh, gentlemen were assistants of my grandfather. And you can see them looking across towards Nanda Devi, which was uh, then the highest mountain in India. And that's the end of part five. Thank you for uh, watching, and I hope to see you again for part six.